Welcome back to another episode of Dread Pod. I'm your dungeon master. I about said host like it's a talk show. <laughs> Shame on me. I'm your dungeon master, Ame Orion. <laughs> and my fun fact is that I set up the mics most of the way today, and that's why one is not working currently. <laughs> Yay for me! Welcome to the late show with Ame Orion. <laughs> I'm your host, Ame Orion. Today's musical guest, half of Limp Biscuit, but not the half you want. <laughs> Just Limp. <laughs> no Biscuits. <laughs> Sorry, Biscuits canceled. <laughs> we couldn't afford his, uh, what is that that they call it? The writer? Yeah. Yeah, we couldn't, we couldn't handle his writer. Which is weird, because his writer is just a mini-fridge stocked with PBR. Like, yeah. It's not that bad. Oh my god, I went to the gas station to buy beer the other night, and they told me they don't sell PBR anymore. What? I, yeah, I was buying some for one of our friends, and they, were, they wanted PBR, and uh, the gas station was like, yeah, we don't sell that anymore. I was like... <laughs> really? During Pride Month? In God's America? During Pride during Month? During Pride Month? That's homophobic. This is Pride so- Blue Ribbon? This is... <laughs> That is gay erasure. <laughs> All right, who's next? Introduce yourself. Uh, is one of the mics actually not working? Do we need to no, it's it? it's working. It's just much quieter than the other one. It'll oh, be okay. fixed in post. Uh, I'm Austin. <laughs> I play Glau. Is that how post works? And Glau, yes. Glau's fun <laughs> fact is that it, he collects antique toys, but because of the way the world is, most of these antique toys are just really cool shaped sticks. Mmm. He's got one shaped like a dog. It's really weird. <laughs> It just grew like that. Is it shaped like a dog, or does it, well, I don't think it's shaped like a dog? No, it's shaped exactly like a dog. Oh. Which is weird, because like, I don't think there are dogs in this world. Oh, no, there are. You killed one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've already established that dogs exist, and they can die. Yes. Da, da, da. For those that don't know, you can find out on Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash dreadwoodpressradio. Yes, I know it's for the other podcasts. I have not changed it, and I will eventually. Are <laughs> <laughs> uh, you done a second backslide? Uh, this is called a dog. <laughs> My name is Dominic. I play Vezev, and my fun fact for the day is that Vezev killed a dog. <laughs> You're that welcome. Like a cop out. <laughs> eh? Eh? Hey, it works. Hey, I'm good with it. Run I'm, and run along. I'm canceling you on Twitter right now <laughs> for killing a dog or for using a fact. Yes. So my name is Arthur, and I play Scorpius. And Scorpius's fun fact is that he um. Has never was never allowed to have a dog, so he can never kill one. No. Yeah. Just call him. Okay. Where's your dog? Where's your dog face pack? Since we're on the topic of animals, that's so funny. Hi, I'm V, and I play Lilith, and my fun fact was also about animals. Lilith really likes snowy owls and white-tailed deer. Cute. Three for four on dog. <laughs> I really love playing the Michael Vick of this world. <laughs> Ooh, topical. I'm sorry. <laughs> topical. Yep, yep. What, what was that? Um, God, what was it? Topical Keanu? to the 2010s, baby. What was the Keanu Reeves <laughs> movie where John Wick? Yes. Can I say something embarrassing that's related? Um, they were scrolling through. Someone started scrolling through Facebook, and it was Keanu Reeves on the Graham Norton show. And I was like, "What's Matt Mercer doing on the Graham Norton show?" <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't do my boy Keanu like that. Not that there's anything wrong with Matt Mercer, but put some respect on Keanu, you know? Uh, I was okay, driving so... across the room, to be fair, but I was like, what is that, okay, man? So we regret to inform you that there's now one less cast member on the red. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. had a good run, and Scorpius had a good time. Before we actually get into this, can I tell everyone my, like, my one... I almost... I, I came to the closest to internet fame I've ever been. Yes. It's like it's very brief. Did you call yeah, her Sarah Fuck? Okay. Do y'all does anyone here know Sarah Silverman, the comedian? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> segue. We've all heard Bo uh, Bo Burnham's new song, the Joe Biden one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I was like scrolling through TikTok, the Joe Biden song came on. It was like Bo Burnham's actual TikTok of the song. Mm-hmm. I like the song. I go in the comments, I put I'm Joe Biden. As you do. As you do. One like. It's from fucking Sarah Silverman's official account. Oh, like the shit. The checkmark Sarah Silverman That's account. It. That's the only like you got? Only like I got. And she followed my TikTok that has zero TikToks posted at all and never will. No, just start posting about Final Fantasy. <laughs> Why? But just like bad Final Fantasy. Okay. 
Like Lightning Returns. Thank you for the help. Become a Lightning Returns fan page. You'll get two Sarah Silverman likes. If we talk any more about Final Fantasy this entire week, my head will actually implode. <laughs> oh, wait. Should we get into the podcast part? We of absolutely should. We absolutely should. Okay. Um, last we left off, Scorpius actually... Whoops, there goes my D20. Um, Scorpius wasn't actually there. And it was like he had never been there. Thank God. Oh, <laughs> he was just being a really good rogue. Like, he was it finally was, good. It was weirdly <laughs> quiet. Hey, that was my joke. <laughs> Our joke, comrade. How dare you? <laughs> you stole that thunder moment. <laughs> just watch I was moment. waiting for it. Um, but you managed to get through without Scorpius and his roguelike abilities. And you met Godo, the bandit warlord in the desert, who was nice enough to escort you through to Kakaron, away from the convergence of Sandworm and possibly other bandits. He did get your digits, though. Mm. Notably, he got y'all's digits. He did attune the two sending stones together so you can now reach him and he can reach you. And we can get three more numbers. You can get three more numbers. It's important. Um, after approaching Kakeron, it was late, late at night. Um, Glau dipped off to find his mother. Everyone else went to the bar inside the, uh, the burnout. At that bar, uh, you got some information just about the locals. Uh, a really stiff, stiff drink. Glau and his mother eventually met up with you there. You heard about the tournament that was taking place in a short amount of time. Um, from one of its combatants. Then you woke up in the morning, did some shopping, and now here we are. You are in the bazaar. The sun is high in the sky. It's warm on your skin. It's really hot, kind of sweltering in Kakeron. Uh, The bazaar is starting to pick up. It's getting more lively as the day has gone on. Um... And then, V, Vesiv, Glau, and Frigga, standing there, the wind picks up, and on the air is a subtle sound of wind chimes. And then just like that, it's V, I mean, I'm sorry, it's, uh, I looked at your face and then it ruined it, it's Lilith, <laughs> Glau, Vesiv, and Scorpius. Just as it always been from the start of this adventure. And that's where you pick up. How did I end up on an adventure with three elves? <laughs> I'm holding this giant magical claymore. Just like, <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Can anyone use this? this uh... Um, but not to mention, I don't I don't want this to be forgotten. You two are invisible. Vezim oh, and yes. Glau. Oh, right. God! You were just a floating claymore. What was, happe- oh, what was happening right when we left? gave you special traits. Yeah, we turned into They visible. last for like an hour, don't they? And I yes. think it's been like five, like ten minutes. You're welcome. I pushed Scorpius. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, where did that even come from? <laughs> oh god. Oh yeah, Scorpius is a hawk now. You are a hawk? Is a hawk or has a hawk? He has a hawk. Where did, you, know. where did you get a hawk? I had to find familiar things. You have to cast it first. I did already. I cast it in the last episode. Yeah, because I said, oh, hey, yeah, guys. that's right, that's right. Yeah, he is a hawk now. I pushed Can the I hawk be... over, too. <laughs> Can I be the one to implant in your brain the thought of, like, the hawk swooping down on Glow and, like, mussing up his hair every few seconds? Yes. <laughs> he would get trapped. <laughs> Glow's hair has not been brushed in, uh... <laughs> Well, then he'll just Since birth. Him. Yeah. Since birth. Thank you for the thought. <laughs> That is probably no dirtier than what Glau. I feel like are. we were in we were in the middle of doing something. Uh, we... I had just turned down buying a weird magic acorn. I don't remember what it does. I just know that it was expensive. Honestly, this is like regular invisibility, right? Mhm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna uh, cast... all your, well, it's not no regular invisibility works on your accoutrements and vestments, I believe. This does not. Oh. So your items, your ma- especially your magic items, are still like visible unless they're in a bag of holding. Okay. You, your clothes probably aren't. They're invisible with you, but like okay, your cool. vestments are still vestments. there. Is so? Is it like other invisibility effects that were like 
The common ending for invisibility is attacking or casting a spell. You'll have to find out. Okay, I'm going to cast Prestidigitation to which a little shower sparks. I might feel invisible. Where do you do the shower sparks? Where do you aim it? Five feet in front of me. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> okay, now you're still invisible. God damn it. Well... Oh my god, Lilith, I'm so excited. It's my dream, just me and you. You all see Mazda <laughs> begin to disrobe and stuff his clothes in the bag of holding. Whoa, 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 whoa. The clothes are invisible, buddy. Oh, are they? <laughs> I'm aware. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll join you. Oh. Wow, has also stripped. I hope one of you are keeping a timer. Mm. I do too. I really, I, I just do the orc showers, and I don't think I can do another. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> you know, surprise. I'm make an intelligence roll. Let's see how good Vezev is at keeping time. Okay, I want to know how Vezev and Glau know that it's only for an hour. You just, mm. ate a, you just ate a thing and turned. No, he does know. Wait a second. Glau assumes it's forever. Let me look at my spell list <laughs> uh, because all change is permanent. I'm pretty sure that identify would fix this problem. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm not gonna... Fine. Fine. Vezza keeps his clothes on and says, Well, this is a little inconvenient. Did they tell you what this was supposed to do, or...? Did they tell me what this was supposed to do? It had a, like, one in four shot of making you invisible, and a three in four shot of making you ethereally beautiful. <sighs> ha! Did they tell you how long that lasts? No. I just... I'm I, I, would, I would like to know, do you have any more of those, or are they all gone now? Sure. Okay. <laughs> We're so good at continuity on this show. Well, I, I mean, we could roleplay the next 45 minutes of us walking back and buying the pastry again. Yeah. And then coming back. You and made them. It. You didn't buy them. She made them. Uh, Lilith made them from a rare fruit. Oh, oh, then surely oh that's right. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. It's been a little bit, y'all. It has been a bit. It's been a rough week. Yeah. Yeah. We've had we've had some t- some turmoil in our lives. Okay. <laughs> you bought the fruit from frig. Well, from the the apothecary. Mm-hmm. There you go. So Wink. May, may I have a little a little pastry thing, please? She grins ear to ear and <laughs> very eagerly hands Lilith. <laughs> and you notice Lilith is more beautiful than she's ever been lately. Oh my God, Lilith, are you doing something with your hair? Like I don't like skin. Oh, I see. <laughs> go ahead and eat it, and then yeah. roll a d six like, for me. <laughs> Please, God, give us an invisible rogue for the next hour. She's that would there, be like, really nice. Face with the gold, like, huh? 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 <laughs> That's a four. He turned ethereally beautiful. Ah, oh, <laughs> damn it! Yes! <laughs> the one person! <laughs> the one! He's gonna, like, take his braids down and, like, do the, fu- like, shake his hair out and, like, put his hands in, like, ugh, finally. <laughs> My best know. form. <laughs> this is, I think, the last thing that you might have needed. This might have been the lowest thing on the list. <laughs> this might be the worst possible thing to do. Yeah. Is yeah, it, for sure. Is it because you... I'm sorry that I was always the pretty one, and I know that you guys were jealous about it besides Lilith, because Lilith doesn't count, but boys, come on now. <laughs> come Why on. would I want to look anything like... This is the darkest <laughs> reality that we've arrived at. <laughs> Should we... <laughs> I push him over again. <laughs> <laughs> he gets up really fast. He gets up super fast. Uh, so I'm invisible. I'm going to pickpocket Scorpio and take his charm so he can't get back up. It's uh, Scorpio, Scorpio, not Scorpio. I'm not putting respect on his name. <laughs> Wait. So the plan was... Uh, so I get an advantage for being invisible. What are you doing? I'm, fi- I'm stealing his charm so I can push him down and he gets up at normal speed. Uh, I mean, you're going to roll, roll stealth and then... Arthur's gonna roll of perception, and you will not you will not have advantage because you your vestments are still hanging in the air. Can I Scorpius ask... can see you moving towards him, and he can feel you. <laughs> can I ask a very annoying question? Mm-hmm. What vestments do I have that are not invisible specifically? Your bag of holding. Just the um, bag of holding. Your robe, if you're wearing it, the robe what that has the patches percent? on it, it's okay. plus three. and uh, any other roll. magical item, it's yeah. items are roll. still showing, okay. unless they're in the bag of holding. I'm going to stuff the robe into oh, the bag. Okay. You're going to stuff the robe <laughs> into the bag? Robe. Uh, although, <laughs> Lilith, um, just in case we do need to take advantage of this, can I ask you to hold this? And you just see the bag float out. She kind of grabs it and looks around for somewhere to put it and just... It's going to strap it. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I got a 14 stealth, by the way. I got a 10 perception. 
Jesus. <laughs> yeah, okay, you nip, you nick whatever the charm you got. And then I push him down. Oh up. my god, oh, it's taking me forever to get up. What is this? Uh, and then my life I, alert! No! And, and then tie the charm to his eagle and fuck off. It's a hawk. I don't care what it is, it's a bird and, has, and it gets up really fast. I guess the hawk is just like hovering. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I am completely invisible, yes? Mm-hmm. Now that you've given up all your magical items, you are invisible. Based. I'm just okay. gonna remain being floating shit. What if I have my hands not invisible? That's right. Your hand would oh, be Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. I have a robot hand. Oh, yeah. tough break, buddy. Uh, you feel, I feel like you'd have a harder time getting rid of that than I did in my bag. That's right. I was walking through doing finger guns to everyone. Mm-hmm. Of course. So, if I remember right, the gauntlet is tomorrow. Um, but today we had a meeting with Zergo Ta arranged. Do we really want to meet with the smelly man? Do they have showers here? Have we decided that yet? <sighs> Probably not for you. It's a pretty large city, I would <laughs> I would imagine, yes. Okay, wonderful. I just didn't want the same, you know. Yeah, let's keep kind of that stuff. contained yes. to this group, <laughs> this tight-knit circle. Yeah. But, you know, I could probably shower anywhere. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me right now. I wish I didn't have to. <laughs> Look at me. You can hear Vezev walking away. <laughs> you can't see him, though. Uh, so, I'm going to just break off. So, Lilith, I think that we oh, look really it. great. And I think we need to have a night on the town before we have to go and, like, fight I, the big bads. Don't we have that meeting? Yes, we do. Um, I believe we should maybe go meet with the ruler of this country before we have a night on the town. I do have a DM question. Since we are so ethereally beautiful, does that... Yeah, I can uh, get you advantage on charisma. An advantage? That's what I was curious oh. about. Uh, yeah. All right, Vazov. Fuck! For no! <laughs> yeah, already opening the gate with calling Scorpio Vazov. <laughs> Listen, Listen a bit. I, I don't... Scorpius. I don't know Scorpius. why. Scorpius! <laughs> What, Vezza? What? Is it, is it jealousy? Is it jealousy is why you call me your own name? I need you <laughs> to focus for just a second. All right. All right. What, what do we need? For you to be more like Vezza, yes. So, those cupcakes seem to have had quite a different effect on you and Lilith. And I think, potentially, terrifyingly, that you might have to talk to Zergota. Oh, I... I can do it. Oh, I'm so excited. You guys are letting me do something. Well, uh, please rein him in. Oh, I'm so <laughs> excited. I'll babysit, don't worry. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Okay, where is the orc man? I want to go say hi. When When is the meet? I believe we were getting ready. Uh, yeah, we were getting ready to go meet him, I believe, before we ended the session. So, I'll go fetch him. Uh, you all can tag along. I'll, well, hmm. this might be a little awkward, huh? Uh, I'll, I guess I'll go with you. I'll tag along. Yeah, we'll we'll all go together. Uh, you can just send a messenger bird. I have a hawk now. I don't have a messenger bird. My, mother, my mother makes them. They're clockwork. We could just walk up. The, we could just walk up the street. That's a lot of stairs. My legs are very short. I know you cannot see them right now. They're pretty short. Scorpius holds out his arm with his bird on it. It's like, I have a hawk. I bet it could send a message. I think it's actually with visible the agony right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fine! Just go, someone go get him. Hold on, me... I don't really care how we do it, but can we do it now, please? Okay, all right. Um, I'll just find my familiar work. I should oh my God! All right, I'm walking. I'm going to go to the to the palace. You all can follow can if you I, want to. Can I run on your shoulders? Fine. <laughs> Only while we're invisible. Okay, perfect. I climb up on his shoulder, and while we're walking, I keep doing finger guns to everyone we pass. Oh, we're he's not hand. invisible. My ha- I am. My hand uh, is not. Can you? This seems... Are you asking me to take off my hand? Inconsiderate, but could you maybe take off your hand? I take off my hand, slap him with it, and put it back on. <laughs> How dare you? Oh, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna dump you back on the fucking road then, I guess. Um, so like, a, like a small child, I will push your heels up and just let you tumble. <laughs> um, Scorpius is running. It's like, actually, guys, I read the manual that came with my hawk and I find my familiar. Watch this. And um, <laughs> hang on, he's gonna be like, wait, wait one moment. Does anyone have a piece of paper? 
Does anyone, is anyone crafty here? <laughs> Lilith, the anyone? bag should have a piece of paper in it. Digging through all of her things because she has a lot of like spell components and she whips out a little, little oh. scrap of paper and Thank tosses you. it. Thank you. Uh, he <laughs> catches it, but like with some, with some you know, <laughs> difficulty. <laughs> and he's like, okay, I need you to write what you want to say onto this paper. And then I'm going to give it to the bird and I'm going to do the thing that it tells me to do in the manual for the bird. Alright. Because I've decided that Find My Familiar comes with a handbook for some reason. Sorry to just throw that in no, here. No, it's cool. <laughs> a little instruction scroll time. I will <laughs> write a note to Sir Gautam saying we are ready to meet at... Does this seem like something we should like go to a restaurant for? Or... Well, we can go back to the bar. Bar seems right. Which for, was for a private conversation? Yeah. Everyone else is very... Do you not remember those It's the things? middle of the day. Who's going to be in the bar in the middle of the day? You'd be surprised. Also, if anyone's listening in, we just buy them a whole bunch of drinks and they'll be gone. I think the bar's fine. What was... Which one was that? The... The, the grab and stab? Room. Uh, oh, that's... Yeah. The, the rusty dagger? That's right, yes. <laughs> the grab and stab, yes. Yes. <laughs> um, Okay. So I will write a note to say, Zergota, we are ready for the meeting. Uh, meet us at the Rusty Dagger at your earliest convenience. And then Scorpius is going to just tie it around his little leg. Um, he's going to give him a little pat on the head and then, like, make him go. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm still invisible and I haven't really used it to any effect. <laughs> I'm going to DM. Yes. I'm going to roll a stealth roll real quick. For the purpose of? I'm going to try and be really quiet and see if I can get some... Some of them to forget where I am, and then I'm gonna try and do the poke on the shoulder thing to the to Scorpius. <laughs> <laughs> and it's great because it's gonna work. No matter what direction he looks in, I'm fucking invisible. Okay, so like Scorpius, you roll a pose perception. Dom, you roll. How long do you wait till they're like? How long are you trying to be quiet? Let's break it to the bar first, okay. and then I'm gonna I'm going to sit. I like there how for I'm like... sitting here like do crime, and you're like I'm gonna touch him on the shoulder. <laughs> the stealth rolls to do crime. <laughs> Alright? Do crime. I cannot get away with this invisible or not. Uh, I'm gonna wait until we get to the bar. I'm not gonna say anything when we get to the bar. Okay. I'm just gonna let you two do the talking. That's a bad idea. I think okay. it's going to be lovely. You both have an advantage on your shit. Come on now. As you walk If you're gonna town. urge me to do crime, I'm gonna urge you to talk to people. <laughs> Be gay, talk to people. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> Be gay, touch grass. As you walk through the town, I need everybody to give me perception checks. Sick. You're heading towards the bar, yes? Back in the burnout, the bar you were at previously? Yep. Um, I've got a 19. 13. I don't know where my dice Yucky, went. that's a 9. Oh, Sick. they're right here. Lilith is too busy focusing on carrying everything and watching where everyone's going. Scorpius is only perceptive because <laughs> he sees people checking him out. Yes. God. Uh, well, What'd you get, Glau? Uh, if I can figure out where it is on D and D Beyond, uh, I got a fourteen. Okay, twelve and up. Um, sorry, Lilith. Mm. Uh, ah. Lilith, you're just very focused on all the things you're carrying, but you three notice as you are cutting through the bazaar. Uh, towards the end of it, right before the barracks, you see a big um, bulletin board with several different <laughs> pin things to it. Um, and if you got above a 15, you can read what they say clearly. Who got it? I got 19. 19? Okay. Uh, Scorpius, you see a posting that says really in large letters 400 gold. And that's, you can't make out the details beyond that, but that's there. Um, further into the barracks, you see people, like, yelling military, all of you see this, though, uh, you see people, you know, yelling military drills kind of things, making people do push-up, standing, sit-down, lunge, push-up, standing, sit-down, lunge, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and you're walking through the barracks. Hmm. So, um, how are we on cash right now? Mm. We can always use more. Well, I mean, we're doing quite well. Really. You're doing quite well. Most of this is going to go to the party. Well, I'm not going to hold on to all of it. So my elf eyes can see quite a bit. 
but they what do we also see? They see the four hundred <laughs> gold right there. Oh. <laughs> but I can't see the other, the rest of it because um, impressive. Because you cannot read. Yes, we yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> really funny because he has like the thing where he can read any language if he touches it. The spell that he has, I forgot what it's Comprehend called. Language. Yeah, comprehend <laughs> languages. Yes, but normally you cannot read. Valid, okay. Well, um, would you guys want to go check that out or are we going to go? Mean, no harm in it. I'm sure it'll take him a little bit of time to get down to the bar. Must be hard walking with all that stink, yes. So I want to go look at it. So up on the bulletin board, uh, the thing that specifically says 300 gold is... Um, or did I say 400? 400. 400. This is 400 gold. Um, it has a depiction of a winged woman on it. And it said, uh, need help clearing the cliffside. And then it has a, um, underneath it, meet at cliffside every day at 3 p.m. You also see, um, what also stands out to you, the rest of them are people looking for roommates, maybe open mic nights, things lost of lovers. that nature. Yeah, Is there misconnections. A lost <laughs> okay, really quick DM, I would like to read a misconnection. Okay, I'll get you to read a <laughs> okay. misconnection in a moment. You're Thank good. You. Um, I have to. Vezev is romantic. Of course, of course. Uh, you see a wanted sign with a big question mark. And the bounty underneath that question mark says... 2,000 gold. Ooh. And underneath the question mark, it reads, information that will lead to the arrest and capture of, qu- quotation marks, Scar. Now your misconnections, Vezov. <laughs> yes! You read on there, hey, you big orc hunk. Oh, no. I noticed the way you were polishing your tusks in the sunlight right outside the barracks near the bulletin board at 3 p.m. on Tuesday. What day is it today? Right now, it's probably Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> She's down bad. She goes to the advertisement the She's next day. She's down bad. She's down bad. Wow. Holler at me if you, see, if you ever see an orc with a big red bow. And it's sealed with a kiss. And that's your misconnection. Do you guys see this? Yeah, look, uh, Glau is too busy looking for listings for antique toys. Glau, well, look at the top of this listing. It says Greg's List. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I know Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a little, uh... He's a little juggernaut. Huh. I, all right. Things so, look weird after retirement. You know, you always said that I had a weird name. But, like, Scar? Who just goes by Scar? It just seems a little... Little pointed. Scorpius, I feel like you were one one bad tumble away from going by the name Scar, I'm not gonna lie. I have killed people. I like, <laughs> you know, no, back in the Nice uh, Back in Audio the mail I knew a Scar. He was uh he was one of them uh, lion folk. Oh god. Oh god, shut all right. up. <laughs> I took the notes. Are we all ready? Are we all done looking through the Are there any listings for antique toys for sale? There are no listings for antique toys for sale. All right. Well, I'm going to quickly scroll out a listing. Wanted antique toys. We'll pay top dollar. How do they contact you, Val? Yeah, I'm dealing with phone number. <laughs> I, I, I put the phone number down. There's no phone number. The stones have to oh, attune to each other. Uh, meet, uh... For for sale contact. We're going to the rusty dagger that's in like the drug the drug skin of town. There's gonna be a listing that's like bring expensive toys to me. I live in the drug den. <laughs> It'll be fine. For sale or contact Lila Shadow Steel at the makeshift anima. Selling mechanical wieners to small children. Please send them to the skin. <laughs> Unaccompanied. Well, <laughs> promise no drugs, no blades. Okay, you scroll out that message and stick it on the bulletin board. It's beautiful, really riveting content, you guys. I'm going to wait for them all to leave and take it down and then follow behind. <laughs> My invisibility! Coming in handy, baby! Oh, God. Okay. As you walk through the barracks, you continue along. There is an orc with a chip on his shoulder walking around the small crowd behind him. There's also more military drills going on. The barracks is... Pretty much down to business kind of place to be, but then you duck around the corner and ah, here's the burnout. Different than when you saw it last night. There's a few juggernauts hanging around in their mechanical outfits. 
Um, and just as before, you see that same pause for processing. What was he? It's an orc with a red bow. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's orcs around and juggernauts around Dragonborn. But as you approach the bar, you see there is no doorman. Well, they're just closed. A bunch of fucking alcoholics. Mm. Is there any open windows? Um, the bar leads down into a basement. Like it's a door to an to an in between okay. an alley. I'm gonna try the door. And it's locked. I'm gonna take out my thieves' tools. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try to unlock the door. Go ahead, give me that. No! <laughs> I'm gonna swat his hand. <laughs> ah, wait. Okay, can I roll um acrobatic to see if he takes them out of my hands or not? Uh, I'm yeah, a, you guys can do a contested strength. I'm gonna push you to assist as a. <laughs> Do I have disadvantage now? I have disadvantage. disadvantage. Okay. So, I'm help action. Is it strength or is it acrobatics? Uh, you could do any athletics based check. So, yeah, yeah acrobatics will work. I also do acrobatics. It's uh, a plus I'm, two. I'm, you have I'm, a, I'm a plus nine, bitch. Uh, <laughs> I rolled a two and a three. That's a, uh, that's a 21, tell me. That's a five. Okay, so keep your thieves tools. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. Thank you, fellas. Should he use one of your rolls so close to casting a spell on him? So I'm gonna try to unlock the door. Is that the As slider? you like lean okay. down with thieves tools towards the door, one of the juggernauts that's standing by goes, "Hey, <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck, are you doing?" And he's gonna like drop them. Oh, I was just checking out this doorknob right here. It's very. We don't have doorknobs like this and he's he's a doorknob collector i do weird (laughs) weird (laughs) invincible more persuasion with disadvantage disadvantage (laughs) wait wait but he has advantage no i roll persuasion with disadvantage god damn it can i get can it can i get a a small bonus for having a cool robot hand no wait but i do have advantage you're invisible you have advantage he just heard a disembodied voice call out to him he's a doorknob collector (laughs) (laughs) is that persuasion with disadvantage yes Better Actually, it would be deception. Oh, deception. Okay, I think that's a little better. What, what can Vezev uh, roll? That is a four. Really pondering his life choices. <laughs> Vezev rolls uh, insight into his own mind. Um, with, with a four, the guy's just very confused as to where that voice came from. Oh, no, sorry, that was, um, <laughs> he just coughs to try to <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a ventriloquist. <laughs> yes, it's a... Lilith kind of pushes him aside and just goes... We were trying to see why the door was locked. We thought it would be open. Do they not? Are they not open right now? It's 3 p.m. The bar is closed. Oh, it's 3 p.m.? Oh, it's in the afternoon. Okay. I'm sorry, it's 2 p.m. The bar is closed. Okay. Oh. What oh. time does it open? I'm a ventriloquist. I think in like... <laughs> five hours? Well, we could... Oh, um... As I was walking. Thank you, boys, for the help, and um, I'll be back to inspect your doorknob at another time. Scorpius just. I'm a prick! <laughs> <laughs> the juggernauts kind of just turn back to each other, like, what the fuck was that about? Alright, everyone, we're going to You're meet welcome. him. We're going to meet him at the palace, then we're going to go deal with this harpy situation. Is that, a, is that good? Why don't we, we... Just, why don't we just do the harpy situation meet him at the bar? What's a harpy? I think I'm it's assuming like, when we sent the letter, he would he understand when to, it's open. Yeah, that's probably true. So he'll meet us there. All right. How do we feel about killing a bunch of bird women? I love killing. Now that is my thing. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Maybe we leave Scorpius behind to watch the dog. What if? I feel like that's the last thing you should <laughs> let somebody do after they say the something that he just said. Well, we don't have a dog, so I'm not that worried. <laughs> Did we have a dog at some point? Yeah, well, no. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I think this would be a... Wait, so it's on the beach, right? Did anyone pack any, like... I thought it was at the cliffs. Fun. I'm walking. <laughs> I'm walking. For the beach on the cliff. Because usually there's a cliff, there's a beach. But there's a shower. <laughs> I'm walking! <laughs> as we I'm as walking we here! <laughs> Runs after. Scorpius is still just following, <laughs> like just monologuing, because I have this little outfit. It's like it would fit you so well, that's it, but you're invisible, so it doesn't matter. Um, but <laughs> it's, it's fishnets. But... Can you see stress <laughs> on an invisible person? No, but you can feel the vibes. Yeah. You're creating. What level do I get silence? <laughs> the burnout 
uh, kind of sits on the outer perimeter of the out on the perimeter of the outer wall. Uh, so on the other side of it, um, it's that big wall surrounding Kagaron. So you would have to walk back through the burnout and off to the side towards that gate you first entranced into, and then the cliffs are behind the gate. You make it there in a short amount of time. And when you get there, you see a very tall humanoid figure standing at the, not to the cliff's edge, but looking off into the middle distance from the cliff. Are we still in the- Probably, but not for much longer. Okay. Oh, okay, so, hi, <laughs> woman standing at the cliff. I saw your, your sign back there. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I believe it's called an ad. An ad, sorry. An ad. Mm. Hey, you're here to help! Yes. You hear about the job from Greg's list. <laughs> Who is that? I don't uh, know. That was distinctly a male voice and there's two of you here. No, I understand. No. Apologies, we're going through a rather interesting time here. I'm a ventriloquist. No, we're just <laughs> invisible. Give us a minute. Uh, Lilith, may I have the bag back? Yeah. Thank you, dear. I'm gonna take the cloak out and put it on to start getting ready to. Hey! Strange lot you are. Yep, we've heard it before. Well, surprise you came. He's, uh. These harpies have been giving us trouble for. Yeah. Uh, months now. But no one seems to care. It's been doing hell on me fishing. Uh, as you get up closer to him, you see he's wearing, like, a, a sea trench coat, like that kind of mm-hmm. rubbery. A sea trench coat. Rubbery material with goulashes on, and he's got like a little bucket hat. You mean a um, raincoat? Yeah, like a raincoat. Okay. There you go. I, goulashes I think... soup. <laughs> yeah, goulashes soup. Oh, what are they called? Goulashes. Goulashes. Goulashes, goulashes is soup. He's got goulash in his shoes. <laughs> he's he just soup. walking around with soup in his shoes. He just got two soup bowls strapped to his feet. <laughs> goulashes. Okay. This is the best character since Tony the Water Guy. <laughs> Tony the Water Guy really truly was some this of my best This is Tony the Soup Man. <laughs> Gordon the Soup Man. Um, as you get closer to him, you see that this is a juggernaut. He's got um, a large, large forearm prosthesis, and he's got like these a uh, pretty a uh, pretty human looking hand. If a human hand was just bone like mechanical, like it looks nothing to do about the arm. But the impressive part is that he's got, uh, on his right side, a very large prosthetic or prosthesis that looks like, almost like a cannon. It's, you know, a little bigger than the leg he still has remaining. Do I recognize the design? Oh yeah, this is definitely one of your mothers. And all of a they didn't your Final Final Fantasy anymore this week. (laughs) Giving a man a gun leg. Is there anything more Final Fantasy than that? Oh, there it's, it's called a gun sword. Jeez. Okay, so Scorpius is going to walk up, and he is going to be professional Scorpius. So, a little bit... Oh, I'm ready for this. <laughs> so, a little bit... He puts bit... on a bow tie and hands him a business card. <laughs> he, like, puts his hair in a low ponytail, <laughs> which is, like... Yeah. Ready. So, it's like, okay, so... Some real your... tech startup boxes <laughs> in the Scorpius. <laughs> Some glasses come out of nowhere. <laughs> low you invest ponytail. my new uh, search engine that's called Ding? <laughs> Go. All right, so... Um, there's a hoppy problem. How long has the problem <laughs> been going... How long has it been going on? He looks a little, he thinks back, and he's like, uh, about two weeks, I'd say. How many hoppies are there? Well, months ago, it was just the one, and she really wasn't much of a problem. But now, hey, they've, uh, they started to roost. I'd say there's at least three or four. This accent is taking me. It's going so many different places. places. It's going I'm, so many different places. I'm loving it. Keep going. Um, I'll rolling. find it eventually. No, 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 no. no. Just so, stop it. let him have it. That's it's a, great. Has anyone else tried to help you at all so far? Uh, well, no. Uh, they had better things to do. They're in the military, and they're in the barracks, and I, you know, I. I kind of am the only one that fishes here. It's just my spot. It's, it's why I posted the ad. 
Ah, so we are the first people to come to your aid for this ad. This has been an ongoing problem for two weeks, and one harpy, which I would say is pretty dangerous, has now multiplied into three or four. So, your ad said 400. Could we maybe do 550? Roll persuasion with advantage. Five. Pretty good. <laughs> He's well, a bit, that's pretty good. He was raised by nobles. He kind of knows how to do it. <laughs> Wait, where's my d20? <laughs> Um, the big one with lots I, of sides. It ain't in there, buddy. <laughs> it ain't in there, buddy. God. This was Scorpius' moment. It was his moment, pal. Thank you. I, I have that back. I am now borrowing a d20. Oh my god, that's so unholy. I know. <laughs> dice. I don't know where it went. It, just, it did such a good job and then it disappeared, you know? Here. Well, you can do your roll and then okay, yeah, we'll check do it. Sorry. Here. All right. So wait. Nope, that's a D8. <laughs> or D10. That's a D10. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, we got it. Persuasion with um, advantage? Yes. Okay. Well, no, no. We got advantage, though. So. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's not bad. Um, so that'd be a 19. The first one was a 1. <laughs> <laughs> he um, crosses arms, leans back a little bit, squints at you. And then he takes the big prosthetic arm and he offers you a handshake. Scorpius <laughs> takes his dainty little elf hand and just like shakes his hand back. <laughs> As he grabs your hand, mm -hmm. the thumb flips into a lighter and starts to ignite. He says, he waits for you to jump and when you don't, he says, you'll do fine. How are your, uh, your invisible friend and, and this one? Oh, well, there's two... Well, um, is there, there another there. invisible person? Yeah. I can figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's two invisible... It shouldn't be a problem. You should be able to meet them properly soon. Lilith is amazing. Amazing person. We're going to have this done probably within the next couple of hours. I mean, harpies, they're not a big deal. Scorpius lies <laughs> through his teeth. <laughs> so just to clarify, you want them slain and not just relocated? Oh, I think yeah. we have the, the faculties to relocate hobbies. I can build a cage real quick. I just need a thousand gold worth of scrap metal. Like I said, we don't have the faculties to relocate hobbies right now. Okay. Maybe 500 if you don't want them to be comfortable on their journey. Yeah, I'm, I'm gesturing <laughs> invisibly. You know, I was really interested in uh, keeping it alive. You know, they like to come back to where they what roost. They oh, I what if we teach them to tinker and they work in my mother's shop? She needs help. When do they start showing up? When can we start killing? Uh, roughly. He takes a look around. He's like, oh, well, sunset should day today should be around uh, 6 p.m. Uh, Probably about that time is when they'd start coming out. Do you have any idea where they go to roost? Oh, sure. And he peers over the edge of the cliffside and he goes, Gestures vaguely towards the group of you, mm -hmm. and uh, he looks down. Hmm. In the side of the cliff, I guess. Uh, I will pull out my python and a rope, stick my python into the ground, and tie a rope on it. Okay, let's go down. Are they, uh, yeah, so are they here? So you're saying they're only here during the night? They fly and they hunt during the night, yeah. Let's go get them while they're sleeping. Huh. I wouldn't trust that they're sleeping. They're just smarter than that. Can we... So, like, we're looking over the end of the cliff. Is there, like, an outcropping or anything? Yeah, as you look over the edge of the cliff, you see that there is, like, just, um... Probably about 30 feet down, there's another jagged edge to this mount, this cliffside. And on the, uh... platform underneath it, you see a makeshift kind of nest poking out from what appears to be a cave that goes inside the mountain. Can you... Your turret... Left side. Can, there's one you can place, right? Oh, well, they can all walk. Can they walk off... Can they walk down the side of the cliff? Hmm. Or I have this rope that I just put on the ground. Let me just climb. The problem is, we don't really have anyone that can take too many hits right now. I mean, I... Um, a lethal assassin who is also used to be an acrobat. So, theoretically, 
If you needed someone to sneak and climb just to look, I could do it. You could also just send your hawk a bird. I, I, it doesn't look as cool, but you're right. <laughs> it just doesn't look as cool. You send the bird with a cannon on the back. That does make it look significantly better. And then you just say fire and you're like a pirate captain. I've always wanted to be a captain. All right. Um, let's, let's send, um, my little bird. His name is Ares. <laughs> Ares Ericsson. Oh. <laughs> Doctor the Third. <laughs> oh, God. <gasps> so, Scorpius is just going to hand over his little bird. He's like, please. I am going to... Be careful with Ares Ares and Doctor the Third. <laughs> I'm going to summon my mean? cannon. Uh, I'm going to make it the flamethrower. Okay. Are you... Will it burn his little thing, his little feathers? It's gonna have legs and it's gonna sit, it's gonna like <laughs> perch on top of his skull so that there's no way of it hitting him. Will it break his little, little bird skull? No, it's magic. I, if you're sure. I'm also going to uh, tell my little, because I have that, uh, that little pixie, I'm gonna tell the pixie to go down there uh, in case things go south, he can help distract. Alright. Oh, what? This spells. Actually, I'm gonna wait until. Um, so you're using your bird to go down there, and you're gonna like look through his eyes and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Will you let me know when you start that? No reason. Okay. Cool. So, so <laughs> Scorpius, after like the the cannon and everything, he's he's gonna go ahead and like make a show of throwing the bird up, and then like he goes obviously blind because he puts his eyes in the bird. Blind and. Yeah, blind and deaf, yeah, because he is now the bird. <laughs> I resist the urge to push Scorpius. You know, this is, this is a very funny spell. We used to do this to each other while we were practicing magic. Watch this. I just slap him across the face. <laughs> <laughs> Would he feel that? Yes. <laughs> Would it take him out of the spell, though? Would it break concentration? Uh, I guess it, yeah, it would. I mean, it okay. does, that doesn't require well, concentration. Oh, okay. It's yeah, just, it's not concentration. So Scorpius falls to the fucking ground. Deaf and, and blind. Yeah, deaf and like <laughs> you can still You can feel your cheek burning. What the hell was, was that? Jesus fuck. It's not that strong. He I have a plus you. zero strength. He can't hear you. That was, that was meta. He couldn't hear that. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> so the bird, does it fly down the cliffside? He does now, I guess. <laughs> I think Scorpius is gonna very good. Scorpius is gonna make the bird look back at the group to make sure he's not being fucking attacked first. <laughs> I finger gun with my robot. <laughs> yeah. Then he's going to um you know, be a little moody about it, but then go on and send the bird down to Those are very that was a very good spell. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit him. Uh, well <laughs> I didn't know you could hit him that hard. I feel a little bad about that one. <laughs> Uh, the guy that assigned you to this task is now walking away. I don't know that. He saw you slap. He saw, actually, he just saw a force strike the man he was speaking to down, and he said, all right, fuck it, and left. I feel like we need, like, one of those like, timing so, comedian, like, soundtracks. So, wait, so he didn't, he didn't leave when he saw a cannon appear out of thin air and strap itself to a bird's skull. <laughs> He didn't see a cannon appear out of thin air. Your tinkering tools aren't magic until it's all together. But he's you know, invisible. he saw it, like, he saw you tinker with it and all the things. And then well, my tinker tool is my robotic hand. So we just yeah, have so one hand Yeah, so he saw your hand something. tinkering with it. He didn't walk away at that point. It was when the invisible force struck Scorpius down. <laughs> I'm glad that we understand his level of bullshit now, so in our next encounter we know where the exactly. line is. <laughs> okay, so the Scorpius is in the bird going down to the thing. What, what am I seeing? Uh, what is your bird's wisdom modifier? Bird's wisdom. Oh, no. What's the wisdom modifier of a hawk? I think hawks not have, great. I think hawks have pretty good perception. Is that that's I'm not asking for perception. Okay, what is it? It's plus two. Okay. So, so add a roll a d twenty and add two to your roll. The nineteen. Oh. Okay. <laughs> he, you hear through the bird, correct? Mm hmm. I need you to make the same wisdom saving throw. Uh, fuck. Oh no. Okay. Oh, why didn't we think of this? <laughs> oh god. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Going to save some wisdom. <laughs> it's a good old fourteen for Scorpius. <laughs> you hear a beautiful melody, being sung from the nest of these little harpy women. There appears to be three. 
sitting in there and they're all kind of singing. One's brushing the other one's hair with like her fingers combing it through. They are naked. So you do see some titties, I will be honest with you. <laughs> How does Scorpius handle that? Uh. <laughs> Just, uh, they chose the wrong man. <laughs> they did choose yeah. the wrong man. Yeah, Scorpius <laughs> goes down, sees songs and titties, and is thoroughly unimpressed. I'm just like, yeah, literally. It's just like, um, okay, well, that sure is a thing. Um, Scorpius has also never been around a harpy before. He doesn't know what the fuck this is. I just need to also say that and be like, oh, well, there's some, that's, that seems pretty, um, seems pretty innocent. You can right? speak, by the way. Oh, can I? Hear us. Okay. Are you saying all this out loud? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like, that's, oh, that's right. interesting. There's booed women and they have the titties out. <laughs> Did he say, yeah. should I fire? <laughs> well, I don't. Okay. So there's women and you they're in. You can't hear. Okay. Well, yes. Hold on one minute. I'm speaking. There's women and they are in a nest. And there's this music, and they're naked. I'm not really sure why they're naked or why I'm they're casting music. mage armor, by the way. It's Sorry. like this. I think I'm going to send the bird closer. I should fire, right? I send the bird closer. <laughs> the bird uh, perches on a little, you know, the like right before their nest, mm-hmm. and they don't seem to pay him any money. I'm gonna shake. I'm going to shake you. And I can come out of it, right? Yeah. Yes. Just, so I'm gonna just come out of it and be like, "Okay, hi, friends. thank you." So, um. I would call the boat back for a little bit. We at least know what's down there and we can plan. Uh, so I shouldn't fire. I would maybe hold off just... Well... It was in all three of them. Fuck and it. your bird. Fuck it. I, I, it's, a, it's a cone forward. It's specifically placed on the bird. We'll okay. The bird. okay. Fine. Okay. I just... fire my flamethrower. They all have to make deck saves. All right. You should go back into your bird. <laughs> Going back into the bed. <laughs> <laughs> One gets a 19. I'm going ghost. <laughs> One gets a 5. And another gets a 19. Okay, so the one that got a 5 will take, um, that is going to be 7, and the other one takes 3. Or the other two take 3. Okay, um, go ahead and roll initiative, everybody. Yep. Oh, uh, yep. Oh gosh, I almost dropped my dice. So also, I when you roll initiative, don't give me your your don't add your modifier. Just tell me what you roll straight because I've already got your modifier program. Six. Four. Ooh, I got an eighteen. Six. Well, we can't all be God's favorite now, can we, Scorpius? <laughs> well, maybe you could try. Hot so we got six. <laughs> What'd you get, Scorpius? I got eighteen. Six, six, four, eighteen. <laughs> Well, right. you could be God's favorite, you know, if you just pray for <laughs> were born rich and <laughs> neglected and not became an artist. <laughs> Based. But then still were kind of rich. I did cast Mage Armor before this all popped off. Okay, yeah. I have 16 AC, baby. Ooh. Proud of you. That's what I have. <laughs> I have 15 they were 30 feet armor. down with their movement speed. 40 flying. Okay, so immediately uh, you hear this big fire. Is it, is it a flamethrower? Yeah. Okay, so you hear a fiery... <laughs> oh, and you hear it cawing, screeching, screaming through that what was once beautiful music that you didn't hear from up there. But Scorpius had heard when he was in the bird. That stops and it's replaced with screeping. <laughs> Screaming. Screeping. That's a new word. Screep, screep. Um, Struggling. And in an instant, they are, all three of them are flying up and they are looking down at you. Oh god, they're crimping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Scorpius. One of them just tutting. <laughs> oh, actually. <laughs> Vogue. No! Scorpius has found his people. Scorpius joins a different, <laughs> <laughs> joins a different campaign. Scorpius is a party immediately. He said, actually, I love lesbians. Let's go. <laughs> Speaking of Scorpius, it's your oh, turn. Yes. Um, okay, so is me getting out, is that one of my actions to come out of the bird? Because I'm like still up in it. I believe uh, it's a free action? Is it a free action? Or maybe a bonus action. Yeah, Google that for me because I am not familiar. <laughs> I'll take care of it. With that familiar. It's an action to do it, to get in, to, yeah. to go ghost. I don't remember. I think it's thing. usually a free action to stop ghost. Are we just going to be calling it going ghost? <laughs> I, that's, that is what I've been doing. <laughs> so Scorpius, he was just... <laughs> He's into a, like a little twirl, like a going, like a whole like fucking stance. Oh, no yeah. reason. He runs into a phone booth and spins real fast for some reason. <laughs> yeah. We don't have no idea where the phone booth came from. 
Lilith's like, what's the fun thing? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he just... Oh, that? interesting. It's mm-hmm. supposed to end automatically. It's as an action you can see through until the ah. beginning of the next turn, technically. Okay. So oh. it gives you six seconds of sight at a time. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, you would be out. You're back. Yeah. I'm back, You're back baby. baby. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, and they're, they're flying right now, right? Uh-huh. Um, they are about ten feet in the air above you, but also probably about fifteen feet out, so. Also, the last thing I will say about Find Familiar that's very cool that I always forget you can cast spells from more familiar as well. Also, don't forget to, uh, I'm not gonna even know. Within 100 feet. I'll wait until my turn to say what I want to say. Sorry. Yeah, uh, that no, was, it's okay. No, sorry. No, sorry. I should know this, but I just don't. But also, um, keep in mind, don't say I rush up to them, mm-hmm. just because you, I want to, you to all visualize this. You are at a cliffside 15 feet away in front of you is rocky shores below. I'm and not gonna be rushing up to anybody. 10 don't feet worry in about the air, one. 20 feet out of away from you is these har- are these harpies. Uh, yeah, that's you have what... 15 feet of place you can move forward. We've already tested the fact that spell casting will not break this invisibility. I'm gonna have fun. Mm, okay, okay, okay. I'm so sorry. I've gotta figure... Oh, God, they're flying. They're fucking flying. They're fucking the flying. The lesbians are flying. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, I... The Wizard of Oz got really weird in the second half. <laughs> yeah. So, I kind of, um... So, would these creatures be medium or small? They are medium. Okay, so I need, um, and there's just three of them? And one of them is already injured, right? All of them are already okay. injured. Um, I want the one in the middle to um, do a strength save for me, please. Okay. They got an 18. Okay. okay. I didn't get that far after that. Oh, okay, yeah, I got Yeah, okay, so... Um, yeah, so I win on that. Wait, do I? No, no, I don't. They okay. roll an eighteen. They saved. Yeah, they saved. What was the spell? I was gonna do gust and like, hmm. yeah, push them, grab them, yeah, because that's the thing that it can do. Expend the spell slots, please. Oh, it's a cantrip. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I, that's my only action, right? Oh, that, yeah, uh-huh. unless you have a bonus action. I do have a do. bonus action because I am a, I'm a rogue. So what's your bonus action? I just want to I want to throw a dagger at it there you go. <laughs> and hope for the best. Uh, well, you can't bonus action throw the dagger, but you okay. can bonus action tell the bird something. Okay, I would like to tell the bird to take the dagger and throw it for me, then, if that's okay. <laughs> uh, they don't understand abstract abstract things like okay. that like you could try to hand it the dagger and it might fly off the problem is I don't think you can attack us over a second yeah, yeah. I, I can't buy the two weapons but this is not and I can do cunning action but yeah cunning action is like movement stuff yeah okay well you know do what do you have two weapons I have a, yeah I do have two weapons I have oh, okay. double daggers yeah which I usually use. But it's either cast a spell or... Yeah, it's, so it's yeah. when you attack, you can use your bonus action to also attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna... Um, are there any, like, woods nearby? No. You're on Sandy Beach cliffside. <laughs> so this Trying is... Trying to hide? This is, yeah. <laughs> is there anywhere, DM, that I could hide? You are out... You're clear in the pickings for these harpies. Oh, so God. Sorry. I wanna... Oh, there's... Okay. Um, let's do... I guess, yeah, I'll tell the bird to do something. I'm so sorry that my turn's taking forever, guys. No, it's okay. Because um, I can cast a spell through the bird. I don't have any, like, actually, actually, you know. They're humanoids, right? Mm. No, they're monstrosities. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm it's so okay. Lost. It's okay. All my spells are not for combat. They're for, like, not combat situations. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, well, like, well, yeah, which I don't, yeah, they're yeah. rogue spells. Um, you know, oh, okay, I'm gonna have my bird cast Minor Illusion Cantrip to see if we can distract them to get the upper hand. The problem is you already cast Ghost. Oh, I can't cast another one? No. God damn, okay, then I'm just gonna send my bird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you took your action to cast Okay, Ghost. so you're sending the bird at the heart, okay. Yeah, we're just, I don't the know. The bird just flies towards the heart <laughs> I, I want to help you metagame so do? bad, but I, I will want? not. I don't know, okay. No, okay, so the bird goes good. sailing towards wait, the... Wait, no, no, wait. There's still wait. a cannon strapped to the bird. There's still... Uh-oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Somebody's <laughs> important. <laughs> My meds alarm. <laughs> I'm like the rest of us whose phones haven't gone off at all. <laughs> my phone, my phone's speaker's broken. Uh, um, so I stay making sure I don't know when people text me. True. Okay, okay, okay. So, bird still has the cannon on it. <laughs> We're just gonna try for the best at this point. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. 
So the bird is sailing towards its heartbeat, correct? <laughs> With a cannon strapped to With its back. With a cannon strapped to its back. So <laughs> it's going to get an attack of opportunity on it as the as it sails towards it. Okay. Oh. Don't make that. Oh no. <laughs> Rest in peace. Uh I'm very much assuming that a twenty five hits. Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye Bernie. I think it has like a total of three or four hit points. Yeah. He's dead. <laughs> and we all salute. Rest in peace, Aries Aries and Doctor the Third. Oh, so that's seven, eight damage to your bird as one of the harpies just flings a clawed hand and slices it out of the air. He had one hit point, I'm sorry. No. That no. was the max. <laughs> Scorpius is just going to kind of just... But, like, aren't they kind of the same thing? Like, wasn't that kind of, like, attacking a family member in a way? I don't think that that's true. <laughs> no. Glau, um. Glau, you're, you're, uh, does it, can it fly? Let me find out. I don't know if I can choose to let it fly or not. I love that none of us know what well, we're doing. you said they could walk. Yes, so I know they can walk. They might be able to fly. I'm not going to let you retroactively mm-hmm. say they can fly now. In hindsight, I could have made, given that thing a disadvantage, but... Your cannon goes tumbling towards the, the mm-hmm. ocean side as the bird falls. How far is it falling? It's... What do you mean, how far is it falling? How far, speed does, it, with, how far the does the speed cannon have it? total to fall? Oh, it's uh, probably got... A good 60 feet to fall. That's 66. Oh. 66, yeah. It can survive. Okay, I'll roll the 66. We're falling damage. Uh, actually, I think it... No, yeah, you fall 60 feet in a round. Well, now the bird's dead. 15 oh. damage? He's alive, baby! <laughs> He's in the ocean, baby! <laughs> Doesn't matter, he can climb. <laughs> yeah, Alright, he's in the ocean. <laughs> okay. It is oh. now that harpy's turn. I need everyone, except for Scorpius and the dead bird, to oh, give no, me a wisdom no, saving no, throw. No, 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 no. <laughs> Do I burn my fucking portent roll here? I mean, might as well. What kind of saving throw? Wisdom. Mm. Uh, is this a magic ability? No. Well, yes, actually it is. Cool, I get an advantage. Oh. It actually says, sings a magical melody. Uh, ooh, that is just a 12, though. You got a 13. You both save. One oh, second. one second. Easy. Is this charm? Does this in, does this yes. on a fit? We have advantage on charms. The same thing, by the way. Oh. As elves, I'll take that fucking roll. Let's go. Okay, I have advantage fourteen. All the magic saving throws. <laughs> Fuck you. Just be short next time. Eighteen. <laughs> All right, everybody's good. Um. <sighs> Thank God. And the good news is, once you save from it once, you're immune to it for 24 ah, hours. Get so. fucked, nerds! You're or you good. Be gay. <laughs> <laughs> How much damage did your uh, thingy do? The cannon? Cannon, uh, seven to one, three to the other two. Oof. Okay. I do not have that many combat spells for it. Then, it's, that's all for its turn. As we move into the next one's turn... I'm so sorry, but you need to repeat the same throw because while you're immune to that harpy song, you're not immune to this one. Scorpius is good though, right? You hear a discordant melody ringing through your ears. Wait, do we all have to roll? Mm-hmm. Again? Except for Scorpius. No, actually, yes, all of you have to roll again, including Scorpius, because Scorpius, you're immune right. to the first one. We all get an advantage. Them. Just remember. What is the? Oh, I got a twenty. You're good. Got a 14. Good. 21. 10. I'm so sorry, Dom. <laughs> uh, like mine says I'm straight up against being charmed, so does that still advantage? What is your say? Oh, yeah, I think I thought elves were immune to being charmed. Yeah. Mine says immune to magical sleep, advantage on saves versus charm. Mm-hmm. That's elf oh. thing. I don't know about drow, though. I'm, I know I'm against being mine charmed. Mine just says against being charmed. Is it like, like an A? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, that's just advantage. Well, yeah, wait, 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 advantage. A, the A and the oh, die means advantage. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. yeah, there you go. Um, Dom, on your next turn, mm-hmm. you are going to make a beeline for that harpy. Mm-hmm. Do everything you can to get within five feet of it. Do I have Featherfall? I have it if you don't. Do, Do I get I... to make a save again next turn? Yes. If you before you step off the cliff, 
You th- will be allowed to make one more save. Sick. Okay. Do I go before Thump? Uh, yes. But I not. would. I wouldn't know that Vezina's exactly. strong. Exactly. That's fine. I got it. But I was gonna cast Grease. Wait. I do have a question, <laughs> a question for the DM. Yeah. I can use fe- um, Feather Fall as a reaction, so even if it's not my turn and I see that, can I react to that still? Yes, as, okay, long, cool. as long as you've had your turn, you can take a reaction. Okay. You cannot take a reaction before you've had your turn. Will you've you had be yours. within the... Yeah, it's 60 feet. Oh, 60 feet? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah but okay. like, so I've already... Okay, cool. Now, the, th- the third harpy... Repeat those saves. I'm so game. sorry. Do I have to? I don't have to save again, do I? Uh, no, this is a different harpy. You do. I, I'm an already. Oh, but you're already, yeah, you're immune to the other one. Well, good. well, can I still just take the roll? Just so no, I you're immune. God to damn it! Another harpy. Mm. I got 13. Ooh, good. 25. I got 11. I'm so sorry, Scorpio. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay, so now you're gonna make a beeline. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Before you take a step off the cliff, mm-hmm. you will make you'll get a chance to roll again. Okay. Okay. But you're okay. making a beeline for that harpy. Glau, it's your turn. Uh, so as a bonus action, my uh can is going to climb 15 feet up the cliff. Okay. Uh, then as my action, I'm going to shoot with the crossbow. Uh, with a minus five to hit for plus ten damage. Because I'm assuming these fucking birds are pretty easy to hit. They're just birds. I wish that we had maybe... Oh, that is an eight. That is not going to hit. That does not hit. Wouldn't yeah. it be nice if we had like a big physical burly person in between us and these birds? <laughs> Why don't we have one of those, huh? I didn't have This is a really weird party makeup. <laughs> yeah. We should hire a mercenary. Yeah, in hindsight, this seems a little irresponsible. <laughs> oh, that is my turn. Your cannon swims 15 feet towards the cliff. <laughs> Inland. Oh, okay. Um, he's and your crossbow goes. Your crossbow Technically, he's walking the across the bottom of the ocean. He <laughs> can't swim. All right. Um, I'm gonna roll a 17 to get out of my safe. Okay, great. You're good. You're Love good. It, it still uses all of your movement, though, right? Mm-hmm. You yeah, you use all your face. movement to get up there. Okay. You're at the cliff's edge. I'm invisible still. Mm-hmm. At the cliff's edge. Uh, can I stow as a bonus action? Is that something I can, like, put items away and take items out as a bonus action? I think that's an interact with, a, with an object, yeah. I'll, uh, I just want to drop the cloak and bag just so I'm actually invisible. Okay, yeah, you're good. And then I'm going to cast, uh, Tasha's Mind Whip on the one that took the most damage already. Okay. Or... Uh, actually, I want the one that took the mo- I want the one that didn't get to charm me to, to ch- take the damage. Okay, that's the third one, yeah. Yeah, the okay. one who I, who's I'm not immune from yet. Yeah, okay, go ahead. So that needs to make an intelligence saving throw. All right. I don't know, they seem pretty smart. It's a 16. Yeah, it saves. All right. All right. Well, it just takes the stamp. <laughs> Half of 13. Half of 13. Do we rounded down. Mm-hmm. Cringe. So, six damage. <laughs> All right. And what is it that you cast? I'm sorry? Uh, so, it's Tasha's Mind Whip. So, okay. the only... Uh, I don't think it's right. Oh, wow. This is just verbal. That's sick. Ooh. No Ooh. other components? Nice. nice. Uh, what does it do? Uh, so, it, it basically lashes out a big old... Well, psychic whip. Yeah, I was gonna say tentacle because you know, big old psychic tongue. Oh, mm, mm, it's somehow worse. Mm, Definitely worse. Definitely worse. Uh, yeah. So it lashes out, and if they fail, they take three d six damage and can't take. They have to take either an action, a bonus action, or a move action. Just one. For okay. Reason. But on a yes. fail, it just kind of slaps them on the butt. Gotcha. So you see, <laughs> slaps him on the butt. You he see goes, Harpy go, ooh. He goes straight for the ass every time. No one knows why. Only on the fail. Only when they succeed. <laughs> only when. If they, they fail the roll, it just goes straight for the face. <laughs> oh, Lilith, it's oh, your turn. Oh, disrespectful. Cool. So, how far are they from me? They are. You have fifteen feet of walkable terrain, and then five more feet out, and then ten feet in the air. Okay, so I can visibly see them. They're like less than 30 feet away. Yeah. Okay. How far are they apart from each other? They're very close together. 
Are they within five feet? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I am going to cast Moonbeam. Ooh. <coughs> that sounds menacing. A silvery beam of pale light shines down in a five foot radius, 40 foot high cylinder centered on a point within range. Until the spell ends, a dim light fills the cylinder. You have to make... Everyone within that five foot radius has to make a con save, and if they fail, they take 2d10 radiant damage. Oh, okay. All right, let's see it. How many do we catch with that? Okay, one got a seven. It's a fail. One got a 20. That passes. Not natch. And one got a natch 20. Okay, so those two will take half damage. All right, roll those two d10s. Roll that beautiful d10 footage. Come on, 20. <laughs> So that would be 17 damage for the one. Whoa, that's a lot. And then 8 for the other two. Yeah. That's a very high roll. Oh. Yeah. My god. All right. So you see... Um, well, it's actually, I want you to, to tell me what that looks like. So she kind of takes a little stance and, like, puts her hands up in, like, a cone shape. And, like, you see a spectral cloud kind of whirl around above them and then like a cone of light comes down and kind of sears their skin everywhere the light would touch beautiful so these harpies start screaming in agonizing pain especially the one at the front she is retching mm. barely holding it together and you would say that she's bloodied at this mm. point um the other two seem to be doing okay not a good tuesday but well, it's Wednesday. The same one oh, well, it is Wednesday, so it's definitely a bad deal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do want to point out this is a concentration, so she's standing there doing this. And they, they, do, they repeat the save on every turn? Um, it's only for a minute. Okay. When does the damage effect pop again? Does it when they start their turn in it, or when they end their turn in it? On each of your turn, after you cast a spell, each you can... Oh, well, hold okay. on. Uh, wait. Uh, I don't know. Here, uh, that's fine. I'll... I'll... <laughs> Or is movement only you can move during each of your turns? Most of them have something like that. That's fine. We'll 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 figure it out. All right, uh, we're back up at the top of the order of Scorpius. Roll that beautiful running to the cliffside, not seeing Hold Dom on. footage. Cause I can feather fall, but yeah. If I do well, it. you're charmed right now, so you can't. Mm -mm. You can't take actions for your own. And you don't see Dom, and you are running. I'm just thinking. That. You don't see Vesiv, and you are yeah, running. Yeah, you're gonna roll a twenty on this. Uh, you are at the cliff's edge. It does not matter. Well, Scorpius mean... is running straight through oh, you. God. So I need you Never to make mind. a dexterity saving throw. Never All mind. Right. You're not going to roll a 20. I'm going to roll a 20 on this dex saving throw. You roll your shit. Yeah, roll to... Uh, you do a, You manage to hang on to the cliff side. Well, baby, that's a 7. So you have advantage. I have advantage. Roll one more time. It's an 18. Plus... Plus... Well, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. You save. Oh, you, yeah. you feel yourself come pummeling into a weight mm -hmm. and then your senses come back to you and you're like wait a second i don't want to dive off this mm -hmm. cliff and i assume you hear vesiv what the fuck <laughs> i don't even know <laughs> jesus i rolled a nat 20 to save. yeah you saved you did um my beautiful nat 20. so do i get an i get an attack or is that just that that's thing? it that's okay. your turn my beautiful nat 20 down the fucking drain i'm so sorry I'm so sorry. Down the drain. <laughs> I'm a, so sorry. This is a bad day. Oh, it's about to get worse. I'm guessing since it lasts for one minute, that's however many turns are in a minute, and I have uh, to ten turns. Are in ten minute. turns. I, I think I have to roll concentration every time to keep it up. Only no, if, no, only know. if you get like affected. Like only if somebody does something. It's when you take it. damage, you have to roll a concentration yeah. check. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Um. So. It is now Harpy 3, uh, the first Harpy at the front of the Order's turn. It's when they start their turn in it. Okay, so she's going to roll her saving throw, and then, or is she going to take the damage first? Saving throw. Okay. And it's a con save? Yeah. Yes. What it is, is when she they... She got an 8. When they first, so roll those 2 d10s. It's when they first enter it, so when you cast the spell, and then every time they start their turn in that same area. That is 18 damage. 18 God. damage, all right. Jesus. <laughs> you hear a blood-curdling scream as she tries to move through the moonbeam that Lilith has cast, and she makes it just to the edge of the perimeter of light. 
before dropping her wings and falling limply into the ocean. Next Harpy's turn. Uh, she's going to repeat her save. Wait, one of them saved. Which one was it? It was... No, the other two saved. Mm-hmm. That's right. So that she saved, so she doesn't have to repeat the, the saving throw. So what she's going to do... She saw us, yeah, she she saw us, us repeat saving her saving throw. throw. Oh, because she's still in it. That's yeah. right. She's in the cone. Yeah. That makes sense to me now. Out. Okay. Uh, well, she got a natch one. Ouch. So roll that beautiful footage. No, she got a nat one. It's she didn't much. save this time. Oh, oh, okay. Then it's 16. God. These damage rolls. 2d10. She's still hanging on. It's a level 2 spell. It's a good level 2 spell. It's a pretty good level 2 <laughs> spell. She is going to fly straight towards Lilith. Lilith, I need you to make a strength saving throw. Uh-oh. Okay. One moment, please. If only I had more portents. <laughs> oh, no. This is... Oh no, that's a six. <laughs> Lilith, you are grappled. Oh no. no. She's holding on to you tight as she can, digging claws into shoulder. Do not like. <laughs> not so does that break my concentration? You do need to roll to see if you... Uh, actually, no, you don't. You Wait, because it's not taking damage. I think when grapple won't break Grappling, it, it wouldn't break, break it? I don't okay. think it would. I thought you had to roll. I thought it was just a DC 10 that you got grappled. I don't... Maybe that's how you get pinned okay. for DC 10. I don't think it, I don't think you do. I don't. Know. Eh, well, you know what? We don't need to be rules rules lawyers. We'll just say you're still making your spell. It's fine because you're just you can still hold it. She's just holding on to you. Um, help, please. <laughs> <laughs> the second harpy is going to fly straight towards Scorpio. It's going to repeat its saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> it got a three. So go ahead yes! and roll that footage. Come you on, what it, it, Roll those two d10s for me. Come on, max damage. Mm, that is a 12. Only above average a little bit. <laughs> Unfortunate. Me and my senior but, friend. But my mom said that six inches was... <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You're right in the middle of the bell curve, buddy. Don't worry. Scorpius, make a strength saving throw. Oh, I'm really strong, so I'm sure that'll go well. That was a lie. <laughs> I literally have a negative one. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> it's under ability. Oh, I know. I, I, yeah, I thought so. But mine, mine actually got better this last. No, actually it didn't. That's a 15. Is that bad? Oh, you're in luck. This harpy goes to try to grapple you. It's got its arms on you, but you manage to wretch free from it. And the harpy flies back a step. Wow. My cannon is going to move 15 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Your cannon swims another 15 feet through the ocean. Amazing. How far from the cliff is he now? Well, cliffs kind of do this. So he's a hot minute. For, wait, for this audio um, portion, yeah, this is audio. Oh, yeah. Um, and they put out their arms and um, demonstrated a cliff in a sort of lazy night. It was like, it was like a know, giving tree. A giving tree. <laughs> yeah. Like an upside down very, very yes. much like a giving tree right there. <laughs> the giving clip. Uh, and then Glad was going to shoot with another minus five to hit for plus ten damage because... At uh, which one? The uh, one holding Lilith? The one in the air? That's like... Do I go just, risky and shoot the one holding I, I go risky and shoot the one holding Lilith. Don't you fuck me. Uh, that is a ten. I feel like a lot of people have said that before. Ten to hit? Yeah. That does not hit. Oh, okay. Cool. That's turn. That's turn? Okay. What are your... Okay. Vezif? So I rolled a nat 20 on my acrobatic save mm-hmm. to get not get knocked off a fucking cliff. Yep. Um, does that mean I am standing? Yeah, sure. I said you grabbed onto the cliff side, but it makes more sense that you're standing. I got a nat 20. Give you got a nat 20, on. yeah. Come on! He's kind of jumped over Scorpius. You dodge to the side. I am incredibly tired with how the day is going. Um, I'm going to first cast the Mind Whip at the one that is going for Lilith. Let's go ahead and mark off both my spell slots. Ooh, I only got one spell slot left of the day. So that needs to make an intelligence saving throw. The one okay. grappling Lilith specifically. Fifteen. That's fine. Uh, God damn it. Four points of damage. Got him! <laughs> you did a really good job. Yeah, Is you see a one? tentacle just come by and like smack the harpy in the back of the head. <laughs> no, it's the ass. 
Oh. It is the, that is right true. near the staff. Right near us. Yeah, you hear a. <laughs> <laughs> the Harvey makes a face. <laughs> Harvey's like, what's doing this? <laughs> and then I'm going to, because I am still invisible, I believe. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, oh, no. at this point in time, it's been uh, probably about an hour, so I feel like both of you are no longer invisible. My life is full of suffering and nothing else. I will move 30 <laughs> feet away from the cliff. All right. Can we please kill these fucking things? Vezo! You are Vezo! Scorpius! <laughs> what? What? what shoot you them with your bow! I'm having fun. I'm getting my daggers out right now! Okay. Much more proficient with them because they don't need ammunition. That I, I don't, don't care have. what you have okay. to do, just kill them. Alright, so it's my turn, yes? It's Lilith's turn. Oh. She is grappled. You can repeat yes. your strength saving throw. It's okay. You're still grappled. She got an 18. Um, on your, your, the spell thing, you can move it on your turn, too. It just takes your action. It would be on both of you if you moved it towards the one that's yeah, grappled that's you. Yeah, um, But that might be worth it. Where is the other one? The other one is right by the cliffside, I would say, like, hovering just below it. It's only 15 feet ahead of you. Okay, I'm gonna try, as I'm struggling, to move the cone over that one. Because I can move it... 60. Yes, I can move it up to 60 feet. Alright, she's going to do the thing. It takes your whole action. Yeah, but what a fucking spell. Yeah, it's, a, it's pretty good early on. A... 13. Meets beats. Meets beats. Alright, roll that beautiful bean footage. Look at all those chickens. I forgot how bad my... So would she get half damage? Uh, yes. Was what she needed to be. Oh, okay, 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 yes. Half damage on that. Okay, so that would only be five. Y'all are so close. I love this. Uh, but, Scorpius, you really gotta do something. I'm really trying, man. Yeah, okay. it's your turn, Scorpius, and Lilith has grappled. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the two-weapon um, fighting for this one. So I'm gonna take out both of my daggers. One of them I want to throw at the one uh, that has Lilith grappled. Okay. Um, so that would be... I swear to God if you hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this little <laughs> So what, um, that's a... Wait. Is it engaged with all? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I can... So, I can so you would have... Disadvantage. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. Oh my God, I can sneak attack. I never get to be, be sneaky with Scorpius. I want to sneak attack this bitch. Go for it, Pooh. All Roll right. D20. Okay. I forgot, what's the thing that I roll? It's just the hit... Yeah, flip okay. to hit. We've not done this in forever. Let's see, that's a... That was an art major. Shut up. It's a 19. <laughs> that hit. Oh, hell yeah. So you get your sneak attack die and okay. your regular die. Yes, my sneak attack die and my regular die. I forgot how much I added. What, what level am I? Wait, I've not done this in like a month. I'm so level sorry. Four. I'm a level four. Thank you. And I can get 2d6. Plus with my little my little my little dagger guy, I get a D four. Okay, all right, friends, let's try to do fucking math again. <laughs> so that's uh, six for the D six, damage wise. How you gonna do this, Scorpius? Oh, cool! I didn't roll the other one. No, that's fine. Uh, how do I want to do this? Um, hmm. I don't know. It's just gotta be really cool. <laughs> I'm thinking. The way I see it is. You're standing on a cliff that you almost ran off. You turn mm -hmm. around real quick, see your friend Lilith in trouble, sling your dagger. Mm -hmm. Lilith, you feel the, the wind whiz by your face. Maybe it cuts even a, the slightest lock of hair as that dagger lands right between the eyes of this harpy. She lets out one final screaming caw and then falls limp to the ground. Thank Christ, God, this is awful. <sighs> Thank who? I, I still have an action left too, and for example, mm -hmm. you, you have that second attack. Oh. Did you just give me bangs? <laughs> <laughs> they look good. I swear to that, God. <laughs> no, they look good. They're swoopy. Yeah. Okay. They're in season. You're welcome. <laughs> and then he's going to. Um, the other one is still floating, right? Yeah. This is the one that tried to attack him. Yeah. He's gonna throw the other dagger. Okay. Roll the hit. Roll the hit. Come on, Scorpius. That's a sixteen. That absolutely hits. Yeah. Cool. So I'll just do the. 1d4 plus 5, because it does not have sneak. Wait. It's a 7. 
<laughs> Sorry. It's a a seven, seven to hit or seven damage? Seven, da seven damage. All right, that one falls again limp to the ocean floor. <laughs> you guys are safe, and I'm so glad you did that, because if not, that harpy was going to pick Lilith up and drop her off the edge of a cliff. Well, <laughs> feather fall. <laughs> yeah, no. which I have. <laughs> yeah, you would have been okay, but it would have been scary. That was. I was scared for you. I was she scared for Lilith. She would have been able to hang out with my cannon. <laughs> Well, yeah, roughly how high up is, is the cannon now that we're out of combat? The cannon is still moving 15 feet yes. every six seconds. <laughs> Just look down and see the cannon, like, very slowly, like... It lasts for an hour, so it will return to us. <laughs> well, everyone, you're, you're welcome. I'm glad I could come in. Did you guys... Come you almost you. killed me. You realize that, yes? At which part? You knocked me <laughs> off a cliff. What part? I don't think I did that. You physically knocked me off a cliff. With your body. Um, when my cannon gets to the perch where the nest was, it's going to just go ahead and burn the whole nest. Wait! Okay. That's fair. It's going to flame it all. It does that. I don't there to be any eggs. I don't know how harpies reproduce. It does that. And then we'll finish climbing what up. What if there was anything in there that we could have used? Yeah, wait. They've been it's so late now. They've been killing people and bringing their bodies down there. I'm okay, like... well hopefully it's not flammable. What if there was a harpy egg? There are a lot. We could have killed the harpy egg. Without... This is much easier. We, we could have even made the... breakfast, even. I mean, Lilith could have made something beautiful out of a harpy egg. First time I've ever met a harpy, but, like, I would eat one. I don't know. Is there anything I like that you thought be? a harpy killing a bird was somehow <laughs> bad, but us eating a very humanoid being is. Not. Actually, in, according to God, it's not a human. Oh, what? What? <laughs> what? What God do you no. worship? Is Scorpius Catholic? <laughs> no, you didn't let me finish. I said, okay, I, said okay, I said, I said, according to God, it's not a humanoid. It's a monstrosity, actually. Um, so, uh, actually, no, according to God, sorry. harpies aren't meat. It's okay on limp. Yeah, is this like a capybara or fish kind of situation? I do want to say. What? <laughs> it's a thing. It's a Catholic thing for Lent. Don't worry about it. But no. But we can I... worry about it after the recording. We need to go back and get our money. I didn't do all of this and do all of the talking. You do not... that. I'm going to go climb down into the hole and see if there's anything I can salvage. Did they ask for proof of. Do you have Featherfall? While you guys I are hearing this, you hear a, la a long. No, I... That, like, I can't do it, and even if I could, the audio format would not want it, but when somebody sticks their fingers in their mouth and whistles really oh, loud... We, oh, my dad does that. Mm -hmm. And then you see the same guy in the raincoat waving. Hail. He's just waving at you guys. This was fucking awful. <laughs> uh, wait. Oh, they'd give you trouble. I knew they would. I knew they would. But I thought you could do it. You looked like you had a little... A little bit of pep in your step. What? Are you raising actually... your hand, Scorpius? I know Arthur has a question. Oh, okay, Scorpius. Okay. <laughs> sorry, I don't. I don't want to interrupt you. So I'm just letting you know. I went to. The... Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> 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 is one of them on the ground where I could like get to it? Yeah, the one that has Lilith. I want Scorpius Tag to go cut its head off no. and hand it to him. <laughs> Why? He's right there. He's in his bloodthirsty art. I don't know. Like Scorpius, he... stop. <laughs> Drop, drop it! Just drop it! Scorpius is just sawing off the head and Fessy is saying, Drop it! Scorpius, it is not time to go sicko mode. <laughs> <laughs> Disengage sicko mode! Disengage! Okay, so Scorpius somehow cuts this thing's head off with like, a fucking Whoa. like crack and he like goes over there like almost about to vomit but he's trying to like he's trying, <laughs> he's trying to, to be tough trying, he was like, he was like it's not made for this exactly it's why it was not a good time he uh, said I'm going to grab the dagger from you and fix it and so he takes a, he has a hank, he takes his handkerchief out and he's, and he's like puts it over his nose and the hand outstretches the head and is like here for you the fuck is that <laughs> Scorpius this is why we don't let you do the talking normally <laughs> This is a little weird. You you can keep your your harpy head there. I uh. This <laughs> accent's so old. I'm so, so tired, tired, you guys. I'm falling asleep. I love from Fargo all of a sudden. <laughs> oh yeah, you oh, can keep you the got there. <laughs> you can keep your harpy head. How do you think that goes with the cheese curds? I hate you guys. I'm giving up. I'm no longer DM. It's okay. No, it's okay. Okay. Welcome to my campaign where every character is Tony the Water Guy. Tony the Water Guy! Oh. The okay. one consistent accent. Here to stay, baby. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, uh, but he's, he, uh, you know, brushes the head aside and then pulls out 
a small satchel. Well, actually, it'd probably be a pretty big satchel since it's 550 fucking gold that you can't this man out of. Mm. Huh? And he, no. he hands it to Scorpius. <laughs> Thank you, sir, um, for everything. Is there anything else we can do for you? Uh, no, this is kind of my whole deal. You know, I like... <laughs> you, just, you just hire people to kill harpies. That's your whole deal? <laughs> That's a so, weird deal. I'm a fisherman. So, oh, I thought yeah. it was... <laughs> So I do have a question just about diplo- diplomo- di- he diplomacy. Diplomacy? Pre- diplomacy. Diplo- it. Diplo- <laughs> Sorry. He said, so, um, you know, there's a military back there. Do you just do your own thing? Because I really respect that you just do your own thing. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I, I, my father was born on the sea. I'm, it, it'd be my only home. Oh, I love that. It's, <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> I also beautiful. Um, <laughs> I can't do this accent anymore. I don't know what accent it is. I don't know where it was going, but it's done. This whole session. He just session. talks like me now. All right. Just have, just, have, just have him clear his throat, and then boom, accent gone. It was yeah. Sorry about that. I don't know why it talked so weird before. Wow. I've been feeling a little under the weather. The harpy know? song really got me. I do want to ask one more question. I know that like given us a lot already. Do you have anything cool that you found on the ocean that we could maybe trade you with for like a, a harpy appendage? Do you have any antique toys? I don't know. Antique toys of any kind. I didn't pay attention in elf school. I don't have any antique toys and I'm afraid I've never found anything on the ocean except for fish. Boys, we should probably stop harassing the fisherman here. I'm making a business deal. I'm going to push Scorpio. Do you have have any from the ground? He's going to say, do you have any fish with you? Because... Not on me, no. At your boat? I don't know how fish I'm walking. <laughs> I'm think, walking away. Scorpius, Scorpius, do you think people just carry pockets full of fish? You smell like fish. What else is in your pockets? <laughs> well, yes, fish. <laughs> but those are snacks for later. All right. Well, thank you, Sam. It was very nice doing business with you. Oh, it was a pleasure. <laughs> you guys take care. I'm going to go into the cave. I, I'm so sorry. I, I tie my rope off on the pipe and climb down into the cave. And look around. And you see lots of, like, you know, like, nest bedding that is now scorched. Smelling <laughs> thousands of gold worth of magic items. Gone. Melted and... Is there anything I can see? That it's, the fire's not hot enough to melt, like, gold and stuff. You see ash? No gold, no glimmers. Roll an investigation. I'll, I'll go down there and join you know, for this. I'm going to say Lilith. It was bang. It looked really Investigation. Mm-hmm. Investigation. You did a really good job with that, Lilith, with the whole... I hate bangs, so I'm going to uh, say it cut off I got a 12. Like, 21. the shoulder. No, so I'm just going to give her seven. some, like, Hime, I like, a few Hime layers in the front. I feel I like, like that would be cute. I think it's called a Hime cut. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys just saying that they're talking about Lilith's haircut now? Yeah. Yes. There is a small Base. hammer. Like a war hammer, but it's one-handed. Hmm. Down there. Is there anything special about... See if it's magic. Well, let's maybe get out of the cave. I still got a cannon. If they come back, I'll burn them. I, just for my comfort, really. I, I have the cannon climb on your shoulder. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to leave the cave. Come on. I'll uh, bring the hammer up with me, and once we're up on, you know... Up, uh, uh, you know, above the cliff and not hanging out over the fucking ocean. Are you casting detect magic or identify? I will cast identify for. I will just cast identify. Okay. Um. And that tells you the whole property list, right? Everything yeah. about it. Um. It is called the Fair Weather Mallet. It's a light hammer. It's uncommon. It requires attunement. Ooh. Treat this as a plus one weapon if the bearer has more than half of their maximum hit points. Huh. More than half? Mm-hmm. It's not bad. It's kind of cool. What's it do? I think that's just it. I didn't hear oh. you that. What's it do? Uh, it hits things. That's a good hammer shot. But I didn't really know you could do the whole the moon thing. So are you religious? I you know you're in the temple, but like... Scorpius, she's a priest. Did you just ask if... The cleric was religious. The, the <laughs> priestess, the person who was raised in a temple, religious. 
I mean... Surely not. I've never been to the temple. I'm not, perhaps it's a, a, a party with... It's kind of, I thought it was kind of a, you, I thought it was kind of a <laughs> Unitarian Universalist sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were just kind of a you you thing, you yeah. know? <laughs> no, I don't. But, you know, I'm a, a moon elf myself, and I've never really been around other moon elves. We're the only um, of the kind in the castle because the whole religion money thing. Um, really has a conglom. What's the good word for like a, a bunch of holy symbols of Simone? Mm-hmm. She just kind of like pulls one out of somewhere and hands it to you to put around your Is head. it like a business card? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's so sweet. <laughs> um, he just kind of smiles thoughtfully and puts it on his neck all happy. <laughs> like, she lets him put it on and she's mm-hmm. still covered in harpy hands. viscera when he tried to head a harpy with a dagger. <laughs> and she says, when the time comes, the symbol will find you. You'll know where to go. Oh, he's gonna squeeze her hands back and like just—he's just real happy. <laughs> not to uh, not to intrude on your moment, but uh, do you think you could use this, Lilith? It's a hammer. It's rather light, though. A hammer? Didn't I get a hammer? You got a mace last time. Oh yeah. I think this one's better. Though. You can hold them both. <laughs> I have a negative one strength, sir. Fair. I'm not doing encumbrance. <laughs> just don't take the piss, you know. Is a uh, I carry passive. You said the Fairweather Mallet is technically a, a light hammer? What is it? A light hammer. What does it do again? It's treated as a plus one weapon if you have more than half of your maximum hit points. It gives you like plus one to hit and damage, basically, and it's a magic weapon. Well, I haven't exactly used any of my physical weapons yet, so I don't suppose I would need it. That's true. I think you're the only one of any of us that would use it at all. I guess we can sell it. That might be the no one asked me it. if I wanted the hammer. Would you like the hammer? No, I do not. Scorpius, I want you to know how lucky you are that I did not push you off the cliff when you were in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. I thought very hard about it. Yeah, I got attacked. I don't know who really did that, but we're just... I think, oh. it, I think it was the fisherman with the weird accent. While we're at it, um... <laughs> like, well, he just said you were ugly, I don't know. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind, and I'll open the bag and say, if you wouldn't mind, just throw the gold in here. Yeah, he puts the gold in the bag. Into the party funds. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so shall we go and speak with Zergata or sell this hammer? We should probably what speak with Zergata. time Zergutar. about is it? Uh, the bar, you were told, opens at 7. It's probably about... It was like... It was, like, it was about three when you got to the cliffside, so it's probably only like three thirty, three forty. Because combat takes you know thirteen seconds. Uh, well, we should probably sell. Yeah, I would like to go shopping if everyone's fine with that. Oh uh, yeah, we can. Yeah. I mean, we need to sell this hammer off. We've got. Quite I a... would like to find a weapon shop. I'm sure, there's a good weapon shop in town. We've got quite a bit of gold now. Actually, we're sitting on fourteen hundred just among just in the group funds, not including our personal gold. So Thank you for listening to Dread Pod. Our lovely dungeon master is MA Orion. You can find us over on Twitter at DreadPod Games and Instagram at DreadPod. Go check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash Dreadwood Press Radio. Thanks so much for listening and we'll see you next time. Thank you for... Wait. I don't like that one. Okay, I'm doing it again. Sorry. Okay. Thank you for listening to another episode of Dread Pod. Our lovely dungeon master is Emma Orion. And I'm Arthur. Th- Can't put that in there. I'm Can't Arthur! That. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we introduce ourselves in the beginning. Why am I doing credits? <laughs> Do I'm we- leaving all of this in. <laughs> <laughs> you better not.